what's up everybody welcome back to another video review where today i'm going to be giving my quick little opinion about asus's pretty brand spanking new uh, water cooling all-in-one water cooling solution called their rog ryu 3 360 a and what this thing is is a water cooling solution with the uh, led animatrix display on top of uh, the pump braid and uh, yeah, supposedly should be a pretty uh, decent pick for your Intel Core i9-13900K, which I did test uh, this thing on to see, you know, how high the temperatures actually went. So if you're wondering all about um, those things, uh, stick around. Uh, but yeah, overall, what have been my um, pros and cons, my thoughts about this thing, right? So one of the first things that I did, of course, was to try and install this into my Tough GT502 case, which uh, went really, really well, although I did find out uh, pretty soon that you have to mount this thing with the uh, tubes going uh, down from the pump. If you mount it some other way, the display will be, you know, uh, it won't be upright. So uh, I, w I thought at first, like, okay, it's not a big issue. I can, you know, go into software and digitally flip the screen or something like that. Nope, you can't do this with the LED Animatrix display that this thing has. Uh, which was kind of a bummer and uh, maybe uh, maybe an issue for some people and definitely I mean wh why <laughs> why is this not possible uh, it doesn't make sense right uh, but yeah uh, installed it perfectly fine everything went really really well nothing too crazy bad or good to say there just absolutely normal installment experience here uh, but yeah uh, the most interesting thing I guess uh, what this uh, brings on to your PC into your PC is the Animatrix display, right? Which you can actually configure in the uh, ASUS's Armory Great software. And there's like a pre selection of uh, all sorts of animations to choose from. And also, you can uh, make it display your CPU frequency, the temperature, right? And overall, I mean, the display is pretty fine, but nothing too crazy, right? I would have maybe preferred an LCD or an OLED display. But I've had those things on uh, all-in-one CPU uh, cooling solutions on the pump, right? And they all burn in if you tend to use your PC like uh, almost every other day um, uh, and being turned on 24-7, right? So the, both LCDs and of course OLEDs all burn in over time. So this thing might um, not burn in that much, but I haven't tested it uh, uh, long term, so I don't really know. But maybe this is why ASUS has chosen to, you know, go away from the LCD and the OLED displays. Now there are uh, actually a couple of uh, neat little features in the software where users can actually import and uh, upload their own uh, animations or like uh, uh, photos to display on this uh, display on the Animatrix display and you can just uh, quickly download them the only sad thing was that I couldn't find a single one I think I found one one uh, animation extra animation uh, that a user uh, had created and uploaded into the uh, ASUS server right but when I downloaded it, I, I couldn't find where to actually enable. I, I searched around, it just wouldn't show up anywhere. Uh, and yeah, there was just one. <laughs> uh, but maybe with time, some other people will also upload stuff uh, for this thing. But in my opinion, I mean, the dev team should maybe <clears throat> focus on uh, bringing a lot more cool animations uh, to the display when trying to actually sell this display at a pretty nice premium. So coming to the results of the benchmarks. Uh, first of all, I ran through a 30 minute uh, Cinebench R23 stress test, which should give you a pretty good idea on how CPU heavy tasks uh, would perform on the i9-13900K coupled with the ROG Ryu 3360. For this test, I used Asus's Smart Turbo fan speed setting, uh, which is pretty quiet uh, when the temps are below 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. 
And um, yeah, after 30 minutes of stress tests in Cinebench, I saw that the average CPU temperature uh, throughout the test was about 85 to 87 degrees Celsius uh, at a room temperature of 22 to 23 degrees Celsius. I mean, typical i9 13900K results here and uh, the fan noise was loud, uh, but not too unbearable. And next up, I ran through 3D Mark Port Royale 20 minute stress test, uh, which should give you a more realistic idea on how well can the Ryuo 3360 cool on i9 13900K while gaming. And um, yeah, after the test finished, I saw that the average CPU temperature was about 55 degrees Celsius, uh, while the fans were pretty darn quiet actually, considering it was a gaming test. So personally, I feel pretty satisfied with uh, how it performs uh, temperature and noise wise. But take a listen how loud the pump and fans were at the smart turbo setting while in Windows, in games and while stress testing with Cinebench R23. But overall, I mean, I've been pretty satisfied with the Ryu 3360 ARGB. I mean, yeah, the 13900K uh, CPU temperatures uh, uh, for Cinebench were really high, but when I actually went to game on this thing, the temperatures were totally fine. So yeah, unless you do like 24-7 Cinebench R23 rendering, um, this thing should be really, really good. And even if you do Cinebench rendering 24-7, uh, it should still be performing um, as good as any other all-in-one cooling solution. Uh, I couldn't find anything too crazy different about this thing versus other uh, all-in-one cooling solutions, although I didn't have any comparison in my review video, so just look around, uh, you know, look into some other reviews as well. Don't just look at one review and buy an item just by one review. Uh, but the biggest complaint is the price and uh, yeah it's like two times more expensive than the competition right and even though maybe the competition might be a little bit harder a little bit harder i mean does it really like justify double the price of the cpu cooling solution anyway my final verdict for the asus rog ryuo 3 360 argb is a 6.5 out of 10 and uh, yeah mostly i'm gonna give it a low lower score here uh, just because of the price it just doesn't justify in my opinion and the animatrix display is kind of a gimmick and uh, yeah i've never really loved the animatrix display uh, that asus has brought two newer components on all their products uh, out there. But what I think is that it might perform a little bit better over the long run, right? I haven't tested this thing 24-7 a year or two, so I don't know how the display will actually look like after a year. Is there any burning issues or not, right? Uh, but I think this would perform a little bit better than the regular LCD or OLED displays on your CPU cooling solutions pump rate. Uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for my quick little review here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below and uh, maybe subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you soon. Ciao for now.